Hello everybody, uh, this is a video to show you how I usually plan projects. So over the years, one thing that I've learned is uh, if you spend some time on planning the tasks that you are doing, uh, it drastically reduces the amount of time that you have to actually code. I, I think it's not a surprise, but just wanted to uh, go through my thought process and my structure of how do I plan projects. So I for for the recent couple of months i have been trying to learn not trying to learn wanting to learn fast api so this is a note, uh, python framework for backend projects and it's really interesting so but i haven't got uh, or thought of a, a good project idea to build with fast api fast api is built on python and recently we have all the ai queries so i thought okay let's build a custom chatbot generator based on OpenAI. So basically uh, getting myself familiarized with OpenAI's different APIs, uh, creating custom models, training models, creating custom chatbots, all kinds of stuff. So uh, to learn that, I first found out a project that is already existing, not a project, a, a website. It's called Chatbase, really nice stuff. So here you can upload text, you can provide the link to a website, you can upload data on a QNA format and uh, so you can uh, basically ingest your data and it uses OpenAI's API under the hood and creates a custom chatbot and on that chatbot you can uh, basically uh, chat according to uh, your requirements so that, that particular model will answer based on your data. So I thought this is uh, something that I can build uh, on my own and maybe adding to one or two extra features. Uh, so to do that, uh, here is the main part of the video that I wanted to focus. So what do I do usually? Even if it's a uh, normal project that uh, I want to build for someone else, the process is mostly similar. So here I first gather the features. So what will be the features? So basically typing a bunch of lines with user can, user should, something like that. So user can sign up, sign in, user can upload different data, user can take train data, they can save prompts, create different characters, ask questions. So basically analyzing this existing website and finding out what I want to build, not everything, a subset of features and maybe some extra features here as well. So usually if it's a project that I'm building for someone else, it usually means I'll be talking with them or not even for someone else projects it can be in your day job as well so you need to build a new feature first clearing out the requirements so exactly what the users will do so all of these things have uh, I, I know official terms but I am not familiar with that so it's just my process so uh, first gathering the features this is I think the most important part to set the expectations then uh, the user flow so how a normal user would use your application. So this user flow thing basically helps me to identify which APIs I need to create first. For example, in this application, we have to give the users the ability to log in. They have to upload the data. They have to, they can chat with the uploaded model or the custom model. There are many use cases, but which one needs to happen first? So the first step is to create the authentication APIs. Second step is to create the training APIs. Third step is to create the actual chat API, right? So you have to go in this order. So uh, this section is usually helpful in, in identifying which APIs or which tasks need to be done first from the backend's point of view. Uh, then comes the uh, most important part, which is the database design. So uh, for database design, you have to, so this, this is where you need to spend the most amount of time or usually I spend uh, the most amount of time identifying which uh, database tables will be there and what will be the relationship between them because based on this all of the APIs will be created. So once you have the models, uh, modern frameworks provide very nice tooling. So for example, if you're using Node.js, we have Prisma, we have Drizzle, ORMs. So if you have a, an image like this, you can easily generate all the database tables in one go. So writing it out using some kind of tool really helps me to understand the relationship between different tables. So I'll not go through this, this is pretty straightforward. Our users will have chatbots, chatbots will have characters, uh, they have uh, training log, chat log, uh, this stuff. So this is the second part. So first part is uh, which features I'm building and in which order. 
Second part is what will be my database models. And the third part will be which APIs do I need, right? So for example, first I need to create the user APIs, then the chatbots APIs, and then uh, the training APIs. Basically, uh, this will probably go before the chatbot actually, uh, not after the chatbot, but yeah, you get the idea. So, uh, and uh, this is really helpful if you are uh, communicating with someone non-technical as well. So if you are working with someone who may be a product manager or someone who doesn't have enough context or enough technical background, it may be a, an independent client as well. In those scenarios, if you can draw out something, uh, this really helps uh, them to understand what you are doing and you to understand if you are missing something or not. Uh, so after we finish the this backend stuffs, usually if I do the front end, then I move on to the front end. So my approach is to first create all the APIs, identify all the API flows or user flows as much as possible, and then create the front end for them. So that's basically it. Uh, that's something that I wanted to share. Uh, thank you. I'll be building out this project maybe over the next one or two weeks. So wish me luck. Thank you.